Get him! Oh my god. Oh, we're on ground zero. So much fire! See, in reality, this shit, I don't care how strong this beast is, this should kill him. That is just insanity right there. What is going on guys, Ryan here, and welcome back to another episode of, I, I don't have an official title for this, it's Ark Battling, just another Ark Crazy Battle. Today we're going to be taking a look at the different badass drakes, part of the Genesis mod, because, um, well, I've, I've referenced these guys a few times and I noticed a lot of people in the comment section are confused and aren't exactly sure what they are. So here's them, they're basically dragons, each just a master of their own elements. Obviously much smaller than the standard dragon, a buttload weaker too, look at this, they have about 7,000 health on average, he has about 6,900, so they're they're actually very tameable, not, not, I don't know how easy to tame, I haven't come across them yet in our survival series, but I can't freaking wait till I do, because look how, just, just looks so pretty. I mean, no offense to this guy, like, he seems awesome, I'd love to be able to breathe ice, but I'm pretty sure that this guy puts people to sleep with this, like, toxic poop smell right here. Or poop smoke. There's better words I could have chosen for that. They all they all breathe the fire that they are the color of. He breathes ice, he breathes green, and he of course breathes the standard stuff that we all know and love. So I'm thinking while we have him here, I'm just gonna kinda get rid of these guys. You'll be part of your own thing. I just wanna start like I wanna get an army of each of them in here and then have them go after we'll probably go after a warden to be honest, since that's like it's not that they're the strongest thing to put them up against, it's that they're the enemy I'm most worried about coming across in the survival series. So it's always good to have different strategies down. Alright, so here we go. I figured this guy keeps grabbing me with his tail. It's super annoying. I figured, um, Jesus Christ, these tails! I figured 30 was a good number because I don't want to lag the game out too bad. We gotta be able to see what's going on. So an army of 30 of these guys first would be the best because I'm, I'm more curious what happens with these guys. Unfortunately, they can't or wardens can't be tamed, so it doesn't matter how much smoke they are, how much, how much torpor they do. That that's the only thing. Ooh, see, that's that's terrifying right there. This is some shit straight out of the Wizard of Oz. All right, so there they are, just posted up in the air. I figured the best first thing for them to fight. Damn it! I know the second I adjust the gamma, the game's gonna get weird for me with adjusted gamma. So I'm just gonna leave it like this for a second. See, he looks pretty from over here. But, um, against this guy, because this is the most recent warden I've seen in my survival series. I have to get a basic sense of his strength, other than just summoning dragon gods, because we wouldn't be able to use them anyways. Alright, buddies. <laughs> buckle up. Get him! Oh my god, in here I thought the game wouldn't like. There is so much green smoke just overtaking the world. Holy shit! Maybe that was too many. Maybe that was too much right there. There's just too much energy being exerted for the game to even handle it. Dude, these things are fucking him up. Yeah, I don't even know if he's... I don't want to turn on name tags. That's when things get disastrous. Turn those off. Okay, I definitely see them falling dead from the sky. Dude, this would be the most... Like, there's just so much... What is even happening to the world? The glare, like, amplifying off their smoke is just insanity. This doesn't seem to be going that well. I thought this would go a lot better. This is like the Godzilla final fights. Epic as hell, but you can't really see what's going on. Dude, look at them just swarming. I feel like they're not doing good at all, though. Like, they're all dying very fast, in fact. Oh, yeah, that's never a good sign right there. Oh, my God, look at them all just set. Dude, you absolutely destroyed the last batch. Like, holy crap. What do I even make of that? Okay, so that's that, that's why we're looking at Drake's right, Drake's right now, so everybody can see that they're, um, they're not actually that awesome. <laughs> I mean, they're pretty damn sweet for a standard creature, but that was, like... Those 30 of them right there, these got vaporized. <laughs> Alright, so I accidentally spawned in 31 of these. It won't make much of a difference. I don't really want to go over 30 because I feel like it would just lag the game out like crazy. And it's it's kind of funny because I have these all, they're all around level 120. They're not actually that strong, but I don't want to spawn them too high of level because I want to keep it in the realm of possibility so I could get a fair fight. Like, I don't know, just kind of an idea. The reason that's retarded is because I'll never have 31 of them commanded, so I don't... I'm not really sure where my logic draws the line, but it's not the best. There's, you're not the first one to poke holes in it, if you are. Alright, I'm definitely going to change the gamma right now for these guys, because these are just blinding ice angels, so now it's time for their go. The poison dragons were destroyed, they're vaporized. I like to think that at least 30 of these guys could do something. I think now we're just trying to figure out which is the strongest naturally, although... This isn't like it's freaking Pokemon using ice, fire, and poison types at specific moments. These are just... I don't know, why are these wardens so damn powerful? See, now look how weird everything looks. Oop, oop, name tags. Get those name tags. Holy shit, it's going down. Dude, there's so much ice. Look at all that cold wind, too. It's just like a blizzard.
the laggiest blizzard I've ever seen. With bits of beauty. I wish they were strong enough to just freeze them into place entirely. I really did not think it would lag this bad. I would consider redoing this if they didn't have their moments of clarity, you know? There we go. Like, for a split second, there's a giant beautiful gust and it just goes back to shit. It's weird as I've spawned in like 500 creatures before, but these guys... Dude, are you serious? They all just dropped at one time? What is this giant cloud of gust you have around you? Was that them? Was that what they were creating? I feel like these are very powerful creatures, just not at the moment. I feel like badass drakes are definitely beautiful, like they... They, they brought in the they, there was a hurricane it was like a windstorm snowstorm whatever you want to call it I'm pretty sure I saw hail in there too so th these are very awesome creatures in fact I just probably shouldn't be putting them against wardens why are these things why are they so strong it gets me every video all right so now it is the fire drake's turn and these guys are honestly coming up a lot shorter than I thought they would I thought they were going to be beast I know they only have about seven thousand health but look at them for God's <laughs> sakes but they, I, I honestly thought they would be crazy as hell. They all have their own little booster powers. These guys... See, the thing is, a lot of these powers don't do anything when they're up against Wardens. Because Wardens have their own powers that trump everything. And it's just malarkey. But I still think they're awesomely badass creatures. And I still can't wait to tame one in the modded survival series. But this is just... This is just fucked up. This is just a slaughter. Come on, everybody. See, when, they're all, when they all take to the clouds like this or to the sky... See, that's terrifying right there. That is something I can respect. I don't care how strong they are. I love them. Shit! Get them! Oh my god. Oh, we're on ground zero. So much fire! See, in reality, this shit, I don't care how strong this beast is. This should kill him. That is just insanity right there. Look at my frame rate trying to figure out how much fire there is in its face right now. See, that's, that's all it is. They're just super beings. Anything else, if they're held at point blank range from a flamethrower the size of their body, you die. Your nerve endings get shot, you drop dead. This guy just keeps on trucking. Bullshit. Jesus Christ, this looks like some scene straight out of hell. Straight out of Satan's TV station right here. Yep, that, that never helps the game's FPS right there. <laughs> Can't you die dignified for God's sakes? That's what happens when you overkill a dragon right there. So he's still cooking. You definitely lit that schmore up, that's for sure. But um, there they go. Just off into their own respected dimensions. <laughs> Alright, so unfortunately that's the only kind of drakes there is. This is a much shorter video than I thought it'd be. I honestly thought the outcome would be slightly different. Now there's just all their corpses just gathered all around us. It's kind of it's kind of traumatic. We've all seen dragons do this kind of stuff one 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 time or another. Dude, does anybody remember my photon cannon video where the dragon got shocked so hard it stood up and danced for a minute? So we've seen dragons get their asses kicked before, but this is just these things are not meant to be up against epics like that. They're just your own beasts. Oh my god. We'll see. Now we know. <laughs> now, now if I tame one of the survival series, I won't just rush into battle and get him killed. As long as as long as you learn something, it's not a lost experience. That's what they always say. So I'm going to um go to end this video here. If you want to check out these mods for yourself, this is all Genesis mod and then the floating island mod is um is in the description as well. If you had a good time watching, make sure to smack that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see your ass next time. Peace!